You know, just when I thought that I had seen it all, there's always been a beer that attracts my attention in a way that I gots to have it. Minty Nanaimo Bar Stout. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another beer review, booze review. I am the Western Canadian reviewer, and this is a beer that was graciously given to me by one of my beer friends out there. Uh, if you don't know who Greg is, you won't know who he is, but Greg, thank you. This one is a collaboration between Trillium, Evil Twin, and Bellwoods. Three very well high class breweries out there. This is the Mint Chocolate Nanaimo Imperial Stout. Coming in at a very formidable 10% alcohol by volume. And it's with vanilla, chocolate, coconut, cinnamon, honey, and mint. Now, I could have done probably without the cinnamon and honey. Because that... That's not in a Nanaimo bar. You don't put cinnamon in a Nanaimo bar. You don't put honey in a Nanaimo bar. Granted, this does not say Nanaimo bar. This just says mint chocolate Nanaimo. Imperial Stout. So, is it correct? I don't know. Am I a snob about this? It's Nanaimo bar. I am always snobbish about this. So let's get into this and find out. That was close. If they did the Nanaimo bar justice. That is thick looking right off the bat. Okay, so we do have a little bit of carbonation happening, bubbling up here. It is dying down quickly on here. We do have a very a dark looking beer. I'm seeing a zero light coming through there. We got one finger's worth of head. That goes to COVID and cancer. Now the smell. Oh, that's minty. Holy crap. You do have that mint smell. Like, thankfully, it's not a toothpaste kind of mint. Almost. But you do have a little bit of chocolate in there too. Well, let's get this down the hatch. Cheers, everybody, and Greg, thank you. Thank you so much. I didn't get the regular one, but I wanted to see what this one is about. It's got two of my favorite things, mint and Nanaimo bar, or Nanaimo Imperial Stone. We'll get into this afterwards. That mouthfeel is nice. Well, that mouthfeel is delightful. Those flavors. Oh my God. There is a, a lot of chocolate coming off of there. Do get a toasted coconut. You get a mint. You get a creaminess from the mouthfeel. That's... That honestly is really close to an Nanaimo bar. I am getting a little bit of a spiciness off of there. 
which isn't bad. There's a small burning from the booziness. But I'm not complaining. Now, if they made some sort of graham crust in there, gave it a little bit of a, a graham cracker wafer kind of flavor, come to think of it, that might be where the honey's coming in because graham crackers usually have a touch of honey in it. Okay, okay, now, now, yeah, it's, that's starting to. Okay. All in all, I like that. I like that a lot. The mint isn't overpowering. You do have that sort of chocolatey flavor to it. But yeah, wow. Just wow. Okay. It has a lot better flavor than I've had in some other Nanaimo bar stouts before. Looking at you, Vancouver Island Brewery, you need to change that recipe. Seriously. Well, that is really damn good. And yes, you can get mint Nanaimo bars out there. And that, wow, that is a solid beer. Mint normally should not be in any beer. But for a fan like me who loves mint, that is solid. That makes that beer just peak at the right time. I like that. I like that a lot. I'm probably going to be one of the few that really likes that a lot because a lot of people don't like their mint in there. They probably find it's a little too complex. But at the same point in time, that complexity is reminiscent of an Nanaimo bar. It really is. That cinnamon, I still don't know where it comes into play on that one. That one's a little confusing to me. But I understand all the other ingredients that are in there. Really do, because there's a lot that goes into an Nanaimo bar. Well, folks, have you had this one before? Do you like it? Do you not like it? What do you think of it? For me, that's got the complexity of an Nanaimo bar in there, added to the mint, and you do have yourself a very well-mixed beer. I want to try the original one, but after trying this one, I can only imagine what that original one was. That one would have been beautiful, too. Wow. Thank you again, Greg. This is delicious. Till next time, I am the Western Canadian Reviewer, and this has been another booze review, or beer review, depending on how you want to see it. Till next time, folks, please be safe out there. Please be good. Cheers, stay frosty, and we'll see you on the next episode. Thanks again.